Could our furry friends hold the key to understanding human dementia? A new study from the University of Edinburgh examined the brains of cats who had cognitive dysfunction syndrome, which is similar to dementia in humans. In these cats with dementia, this toxic amyloid beta, this toxic protein, was causing a huge amount of inflammation. And those brain immune cells were actually eating up the connections between brain cells and it's the loss of these synapses which is thought to directly cause the symptoms seen in dementia in cats or in human alzheimer's disease mckeechan says it's striking how similar the changes are to what happens to people with alzheimer's disease he says many current studies are done in mice and rats because the mutations can occur in weeks and months. But when those treatments are taken to clinical trials in humans, they, they fail. One of the reasons is that, is that the model is not very good. And you know, we hope by studying doing things like clinical trials in cats, we'd be much more likely to see you know, success in translating that to successful human uh, clinical trials. Nearly 30% of cats over the age of 11 develop at least one sign of dementia. That rises to 50% for cats cats over 15. McKeechan says one key sign of dementia in cats is an increase in vocalization, such as meowing loudly at night. Sleep pattern changes, disorientation, and toileting outside the litter tray are other common signs. Behavioral changes, such as seeking more attention or being more withdrawn, including looking for places to hide, could point to dementia too. So currently it's a, it's a bit limited to more like supportive care, so there's things like you know, dietary supplements that can support brain health lifestyle modifications, things like keeping environments the same, not moving furniture around, giving them a set routine, and then um, also things like brain trainings. McGeechin says just as humans do activities like Sudoku or crossword, for cats it can be puzzle feeders that keep their brains active, potentially slowing down disease progression. The University of Edinburgh study only looked at amyloid beta protein, so did not examine the tau protein, which accumulates in the brains of people with Alzheimer's and correlates with cognitive decline. But the researchers are studying tau in cats in the next phase. McGeechan hopes their research will someday help both cats and humans, though this wouldn't be the first time the connection has proven beneficial. But some work into lymphoma in cats has translated into benefits for humans. There has been work into like diabetes and like trialing insulin um, in cats and dogs as well. We know that cats are naturally uh, developing these brain changes and also you know, the clinical signs that are very similar to human Alzheimer's disease. But by studying feline dementia, this could also be a really valuable tool.